Okay guys, uh, here's that review I mentioned of the uh, Pantac MBSS and the Esotech Hellcat chest rig. Now, I got this vest uh, about a month back and I uh, got it off a of Mapper or MAAPR uh, airsoft form. Now the base vest that holds the Hellcat is a Pantac MBSS plate carrier. Now these go for 72 bucks on Airsoft Smith and various other websites. And these plate carriers are very nice. They're very well constructed. They're rugged. And you know, I, I would highly recommend this vest than Condor, which is complete crap. And you know, they fray a lot. They pretty much rip apart on you after a little bit of use for Airsoft. As you can see, these are double. This is double stitched, high quality 1000D Cordura nylon. Very, very good gear. I would highly recommend this. But uh, here we go on the uh, now the Hellcat. Now remember that that is a replica of the Allied Industries plate carrier. That is not real. It is a replica. I would also recommend getting a Paca for this vest because if you're very skinny like me you might need to adjust it to the smallest length because with the PACA it's pretty much it replicates soft armor well the Pantac one does I'm not gonna get the real one yet but the replica uh, so, uh, PACA replicates soft armor and it makes this vest fit a lot better with that on I do not have that but I will get one soon hopefully now the Hellcat is real, it is legit, it is made out of the 1000D Cordura but definitely a lot more high quality than the Pantac, I can tell you that right now, I can feel the difference by far that this is a lot more better quality, but what you pay for is what you get, so you're obviously the real gear is going to be better than the replica, but now the guy who I bought this off of, he modded it, he cut off the the X harness or shoulder straps and there's I don't know if you can see that let's see if we can get a there's molly straps sewed onto the Hellcat so they weave through and end out right there so it's pretty much a pretty cool looking vest um not sure but he told me apparently this was an upgrade for Navy Special Warfare fight uh um combatants or whatever but uh yeah each pocket holds two mags two AR-15 style mags probably fit AK mags or G36 mags no problem they extend pretty far and these have little clips to hold your mags right here now I don't usually fill everything up with 12 and 4 mags you know I'll have a water bottle here you know, a radio here, maybe a little bag of BB somewhere, and usually my standard low carrying capacity is like about, you know, 8 mags or so. And, you know, the great part about this though, that you can put buddy mags here, buddy mag pouches, camel back, radio pouch, you know, there's just so much molly estate on here. It's awesome. The buckles are good quality. Not going to break on you anytime soon. These are a little worn out, but, you know, just a Chinese elastic. What can you expect? But it's a good Chinese vest. You know, you can't beat it. 1000D Cordura. Awesome gear. Awesome material for gear, I mean. And uh, here's the uh, the buckle system for the SO Tech. You can also fit plates in here. No problem. Just open that up. Put a plate in there. Open this top up right here. Open the bottom down there. Got a lot of Malia stayed on the front for the SO Tech. Other than that, nothing else to say. Used it in about one game so far. I it really held my uh, what I wanted good. You know, was light, a lot, a lot lighter than my Eagle SPC. Definitely good for uh, you know high speed low drag setups. I dig it. 
But uh, definitely, definitely get a packet for this because if you have a skinny waist like me, this is not really going to fit on you and it's going to sag a lot and bounce around on you. But uh, other than that, no, nothing else really. But uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.